What is community? What does music mean in the community? How do people relate to both? To find out, we went to Fushicho Daiko Dojo, a Japanese drumming studio, and Rainbow Connection, a choir for kids on and off the autism spectrum. How would I define community? Um, community is a group of people that want the same things, that enjoy the same things, that have the same goals. I think what the Taiko community does is creates a new community that people didn't realize there was an opportunity to experience. The community is they're all friends, we're all one unit, one choir. It doesn't matter if you are on the spectrum or not, you're all part of Rainbow Connection and part of that community. We do like a Rainbow Connection share at the end of every rehearsal and we always get like matching shirts for our concerts to like symbolize that unity. Um, music is the focus of the group therapy, so we do have activities that go along with it, but in the end music is what ties the whole package together. We have a performance product out of learning the music, which gives everyone in the group like, okay, we've worked on this and now we're accomplishing something. something. And the performance aspect for a lot of those kids is huge because they've never like performed before, so it's like a really big deal to build up that confidence and music is that way to like check yourself and like keep improving and you have like a physical audible product by the end of it. I guess two things. One is that I never thought that I could be musical and so the ability to play in a group and to actually make the songs and do that and then the community like I love everybody here and being everybody coming from different parts of the valley and different backgrounds and we all come together and do this and it's really fun. Um, I'm hoping that they find personal fulfillment both in you know mu purely a musical sense that oh look I can do something that's musical. I want them to feel like they have something to offer to, the, to their class and to the Taiko community that they they can link some of their some of the things they do in their personal life into this community. So I see it as really very much interweaving what they do for themselves personally, you know, intrinsically, and then what they do for themselves to support their classmates and their and their class and the studio and the community. Those drums are magical. So to be like to have a community where we can all come and like appreciate the same thing is really valuable. And it's also like it's physical and it's musical and there's like a sense of community. So it's like other people who are like me but also different doing the same thing. And so there's like a lot of interactions. So there's like a whole interpersonal side of things. So it's like all of the best qualities of art kind of thrown into one community of people who all like appreciate the same thing. Sometimes it's unforgiving, sometimes it's um, overwhelming, but it's also really rewarding because you realize there's a lot of things that you, that you have to offer that as long as you're showing that you're really enjoying yourself and that you're showing that you appreciate the people around you, that um, you know, it's, it's a great way to work together. As we've seen, communities bring people together to achieve something greater. As music educators, we hope to create that same sense of unity in expression and experience with our students. We want them to feel as if they have something to contribute to the group, which in turn helps them to grow. We also want to encourage the community to become involved with our students through public performances and events. By taking music off campus, we can bring people together to enjoy it and create a community of people who enjoy live music and seeing how young people can make positive contributions to their immediate communities and beyond.